everyone, I thought we'd do a Kirchhoff's current law practice problem. So just as a reminder, when we're talking about Kirchhoff's current law, the idea is that when we take a look at a node, the sum of all the currents passing through this node should equal zero. Or another way of saying that is the currents that are entering the node, if you sum them up, should equal the total of the currents leaving the node. Otherwise, we have some mysterious current that's escaping someplace, right? So all the currents that go in, the sum of all those currents that go in should be equivalent to the sum of all the currents going out. So when we take a look at this particular problem, we're given all the currents except for one. So we're told I1 equals three amps. So take a look at the direction that's being labeled here. So the current going into this node is three amps. The current for I3, again, current leaving that node is five amps. The current of I4, and in this case, it's being labeled as going into the node. So that current is six amps going in that direction. And remember, the arrows here can be arbitrary. I mean, if this turns out to be a negative current, that just means that the current is actually flowing away from that node. So it's the, the, the polarity of the current is relative. And I5, this current leaving the node is one amp. So the only current we don't know is I2. So how do we set up equations to solve for this unknown current? In other words, what's the relationship between all of these currents? Well, using Kirchhoff's current law, let's go ahead and write the following. We can say that all the currents entering the node, so I1 plus I4, should be equal to all the currents leaving the node. So I2 plus I5, Let's go ahead and make the I3 just to be in some sort of order here. Right. So I2 plus I3 plus I5. So the sum of the currents entering should equal the sum of the currents leaving. So one uh, current number one is three amps plus current four is six plus current two or equals current two, which is our variable, plus current three, which is five amps, plus current five, which is one amp. And hopefully you can see how the math works here. So just to quickly finish it, we have nine minus six equals I2. So I2 equals three amps. Okay, so hopefully you can see that with some algebra. If you don't, you can check out some of our um, mathematics for electronics videos. But I also wanna show you another way to set this up. There's at least two other ways where you can use or you can set up equations using Kirchhoff's current law. So here we said all the currents entering equals the currents leaving. Another approach is to literally sum up the currents at the node. So if we say that positive direction is going into the node, then we have I1 minus I2, because that's a current leaving, minus I3, because that's a current leaving, plus I4, because that's a current entering, minus I5. And that sum equals zero, just like our equation there. We sum up all the currents at that node, and that should equal zero. And we can go ahead and put those numbers in here. So three amps minus I2 minus five plus six minus one equals zero. And again, just doing some algebra here, you're left with I2 equals three amps. A third way is to set up the equation already at the very outset, solving for I2. What do you mean by that? Well, I2 is a current leaving this node. Well, what current could leave this node? The only sources are I1, it could come from here, it could come from here, so here's I1 and I, I4, it, it can't come from here, this is leaving that node, so minus I5, and this is also leaving that node, so minus I3. So this is intuitive, if you, if you can get comfortable writing down equations like this, where you're already setting up to solve for the unknown, 
Then you can easily do the math here. Oops, I should put like an equal sign. So I1 plus I4 minus I5 minus I3 is 3 amps plus 6 amps minus 1 amp minus 5 amps. And again, that's going to give us our 3 amps. So I, oops, you can't see that very well, can you? So I2 equals 3 amps. So the idea is that based upon this basic principle, Kirchhoff's current law, you could set up equations to solve for your unknown. And obviously, if you only have one unknown, the most direct path is if you can set up the equation so that you're automatically solving or you're directly solving for your unknown. Again, in this case, what I did is I said, okay, here's I2. What could I2 be? Well, it's going to be the sum of the currents entering this node, I1 and I4, minus the currents that are leaving it, so minus I5 and I3. And the, the, the leftover current must be the current going through I2. Okay. Well, I hope that helps. If you're interested in more videos, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you can help us out by clicking the like button, you can also check out the book that I retrieved this question from. It's in the it's linked in the description below.